Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to tackle a little bit of kitchen organization. We have a somewhat small kitchen, like it's bigger than some, but it's still pretty small for all the things we have. And I have gone through so many different arrangements in this kitchen trying to make it work. And it seems like every so often I just get very annoyed with how it's working for me. And right now is one of those times. So I've been like going through it in my head, what I wanna change up, what I really wanna tackle. And I'm gonna show you in a minute where we're gonna start and really what is like making me crazy. But like tackling one part of my kitchen means I'm going to be messing with quite a few other spaces. So this is probably gonna take me a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna get this all done in one day, but I'm gonna show you right now what we're looking at. So in our kitchen, we have a corner cabinet. These are like in everybody's kitchen basically, but these I find to be so extraordinarily hard to organize. So I'll show you what's going on in the top one. This one is where we've always kept our kids cups, like meaning the cups our kids use. It's easy to grab um, and they all have lids and things like that and they're kind of fun cups. So it's literally just miscellaneous random cups. And if you can see back there, it goes like at an angle here, flat, and then an angle here. So it's not exactly the easiest shape. Up in the middle shelf, we have 5 million water bottles and lids. And then on the top, we have supplements. And then like way back there is wine bottles. You can't even see. It literally makes no sense. So I want to mess with this. And then down here, this is, this is, this is why this needs to happen right here. Um, I have an air fryer down here. It is so hard to get in and out of here. And then I have my instant pot down here. We have a blender. We have my mandolin, my um, sifter, a vinegar bottle that's fallen over, measuring cup, toothpicks. I have like um, baking flavorings. There's like a Mr. Coffee coffee maker back there. There is all my oils and vinegars right here, salt and pepper shaker, uh, cake pans back behind there. It is literally just, it's like a junk cabinet is how it feels at this point in time. So that is what we are going to be tackling. That is the main goal. But in order to tackle that, I'm going to end up switching up a couple of my other cabinets. So we're really going to be touching quite a few things. I'm going to start first by emptying out another cabinet that I know is going to get switched around for this and just see what I can purge there. And then I'll start working on purging those cabinets and pulling out and seeing what I can like figure out and rearrange and we'll go from there. This is the cabinet I'm going to start with first. It's basically like everyday drinking glasses that are quote unquote adult drinking glasses. So this is where we've always kept the glasses that are meant for adults and the kids, like I said, have always been separate because they had growing up sippy cups and cups with lids and things like that. And there was quite a few of them. So we always had a separate spot for them where they could go. And I didn't have to worry about other cups being broken and stuff. Now that they're older, it's not something we really have to worry about anymore. So I really want to just pull everything out, see what I can purge of this and see what I can combine from the other cabinet and try to get all of our drinking glasses in one spot. Okay, here's a little update. So this here is what I'm definitely getting rid of. Um, these, like I have so many of these. I have nine right here and then I have another seven right here. So I have 16. I don't know why I need so many. We at most ever have four dirty at a time. So it's so pointless. So I'm gonna take these out and store them in the basement just to free up some room. These are Easter glasses. I have a spot downstairs that I have some, um, serving ware and like wine glasses and I'm gonna put those with that instead 
And then this is just like a decorative glass that I don't even know if it's meant to use. It's kind of a collector's item um, that was given to my husband one year. So I'm gonna store that away, I think too. And then I have another spot I'm thinking those will go, these will end up going back in the cabinet once I figure out like what I'm pulling over from that cabinet into here. I'll put those back in. And then these, I'm just not sure if we're keeping or not. So that's where we're at. Um, the cabinet's looking like this. I have like our glasses that we use. And we do use these all the time, so they need to stay there. Um, my coffee cups, these are for iced coffee and this is just like a water cup that's mine. And we have 5 million coffee cups. So we'll figure that out. These are holiday plates. And I'm not sure if those are gonna stay or not. And then I was almost thinking about moving our water bottles up here. So moving over to this corner cabinet, I just wanna go through this again, look at anything we don't need or want anymore and try to pare this down so that I can fit this stuff over in the other cabinet. It is amazing to me after going through this, how much stuff was in these cabinets, especially that we didn't use. So if you haven't done this in a while, let this be your motivation to go through, at minimum, just the cups in your house. The next task is to work on the water bottles. I'm gonna pull every one of these out and then all the lids and I'm gonna take the time to match up every bottle with every lid because anything that doesn't have a lid or a match, I'm automatically getting rid of. The problem with this was apparently we're very good at keeping our lids in our bottles. All of my bottles had a matching lid, so that didn't really help my purging process, but don't worry, I found some things to get rid of. All right, here's my progress report. This cabinet is so stinking full, <laughs> it looks terrible. But I put our water bottles up here. We don't access them a ton, so I didn't need them to be low, but obviously this is not gonna work. So I'm gonna order a bottle holder from Amazon, and I think we have 11 bottles total. I'm gonna do a 10 bottle holder and then just have like an extra one. And then I have our lids in this basket right here just so that it's like easy to pull down and access. But we need to keep quite a few water bottles because the kids use them for school, especially right now during COVID, they can't use water fountains. And then we each have a bike water bottle. So those plastic ones right there are for bikes. Um, 
So we have four of those, and then we have bottles for like working out. So each of us has three bottles, one bike bottle and two extra bottles. And then the cups, like the mugs, it's far too many. Like we won't, we don't use all these, but my daughter loves to use mugs. So like I need them there. Um, these are just like, you know, I have nine of these short drinking glasses and then nine of the tall. And then I have our tourist cups here. There's six total here. And then we have like two of the metal ones here. And um, I had showed you our iced coffee glasses and then a couple of extra, just like random glasses and the lids that go to those. I think that's the best I can do. And so that's basically all of our drinking glasses, except in this cabinet at the top, is my husband's stuff so like he literally drinks coffee out of mugs i use my turvis and he uses all of these basically and then he's got his own like water cups and coffee cups for travel and things like that um and like koozies for beer um so i keep his stuff separate just because he's got quite a bit more than we do and then in this cabinet uh, is like our drink glasses. So we have like some beer glasses here, wine glasses, and then some like, what do you call those highball glasses? I don't even know the little scotch glasses. Um, and we really don't use those, but they're there for <laughs> in case. And then our other wine glasses for like when we have, um, like holidays and things like that, where I'm making a tablescape, like I have down in my basement. So I have like quite a few sets of that. That's like my thing. I love serving wear. So I do have quite a bit of it, but I think that's the best I can do in these cabinets for the drink wear. So I'm going to try to tackle like the top of this cabinet here and then this bottom corner cabinet, but I'm literally just like tearing up my kitchen for these corner cabinets, but we're going to get it figured out. Oh yeah. I took down my, um, holiday plates too. So these, like I always just keep in the top and they're just there because they're heavy and I don't have anywhere to store them down in my basement. But I have like the Easter ones, um, our Thanksgiving plates. This is our Santa cookies and milk plates. And then these are like my Christmas plates. Um, are those not so beautiful? I got those at Walmart last year. And then I have these that are technically apples, but I like to pretend they're pumpkins for fall. Cause I mean, seriously, aren't those cute? I got those at a yard sale. Um, so I think I'm going to move these when I rearrange some of the other cabinets because the ultimate goal is actually to empty this cabinet of like all the Tupperware and that's because this is such a big cabinet. And so I'm thinking, why don't I have my big appliances down here? My air fryer and my instant pot, my KitchenAid, everything could be down here and there's room for it. So that's the goal is I'm going to try to get the appliances in this. So I have to free up that I think is where I'm going to put the Tupperware. So hopefully I can actually make these corner cabinets work for me because they're horrendous. And I'm sure you probably know from your own kitchen, they're the worst thing in the world to organize. So I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I got this Lazy Susan from Target recently. It was in the dollar spot. It was $5. Basically all like YouTubers have bought this. I feel like I've seen it 500 places. Um, but I figured I'd use this to put our supplements in that have just been sitting there and that will make it a lot easier to access if I keep those in the top. So that's what I'm gonna do next.
Okay, so I finished this cabinet. I'm just gonna show you what I did. I put all of our glass Tupperware right here. I got this for Christmas. I absolutely love it. This set right here is from Costco. It came with five pieces with the lids. And then I got this on Amazon and it has like these larger rectangle ones, a smaller rectangle one, a bigger square and a smaller square. And I just left the lids for these in this blue bin. So it's like easy for me to like reach back and get those lids. And then stacked to the side are the lids for these. These are the ones I reach for the most. So I need it to be like easy access, which is why I left this open right here. In the middle here, I went ahead and did our school Tupperware. So these are just like little things that came with lunch boxes from Costco and they have like little pieces that fit in them. So I have two of those and then a square one right behind there. These two get used the most. So I figured those would be in front. I also have two like Tupperware back there that I don't reach for very often, but they fit. And then this bin right here, I needed it to be easy to pull out because it's got like the thermoses and silverware and like little sauce jars. This is like a cupcake holder and things, basically anything for making lunches. So I needed that to be really easily like pulled in and out, but all of this has room to kind of slide around so I can like get things in and out easily, which I think I'm going to like. So that's the configuration of that. That is just supplements up there. I don't have anything else. I just got this bottle holder in from Amazon today. Ooh, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up in the cabinet and hopefully that will help with the bottles because they were all kind of just laying around up there and it'll make it easy to grab as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move over to this corner cabinet. Sorry about the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm just gonna start by taking everything out, see what I have in here and see if there's anything I can get rid of. This is like by far the worst cabinet in my kitchen. It's like a junk cabinet. So we'll figure that one out real fast, hopefully. I think we have to take a minute and then just admire the sheer determination and skill it took for me to put all of this crap in one cabinet. <laughs> like, how did this even happen? It's so bad. Okay guys, my last task in this cabinet is to go through this Lazy Susan and uh, clean off all the oil and vinegar bottles and purge basically anything I'm not using anymore or anything that is doubles because there was quite a few of those surprisingly enough and then also stuff that just didn't make sense in this cabinet. So I'm finding other places for those and I'm gonna put this back and then I will give you a tour of how the kitchen ended up. I officially feel like a fool that I did not do this sooner. 
it was so much easier than I thought it would be. Also, it took way less time. Like, I do not know why it took me so long to do this to my kitchen. I don't know. Organization, I feel like, especially in the kitchen, is always evolving. So I'm super happy with how it is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick tour of the cabinets. So sorry about the dishwasher. It's like, I hope that's not too loud in the background for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick tour of all the cabinets and how they ended up and what the organization looks like. But from what I can tell right now, it is going to be so much easier to know what I have, where it's at and to be able to access it. Before I feel like I had to pull out everything to get to the things that I needed and I also didn't even know what I had. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna give you a quick tour. So since I pretty much touched every cabinet, I'm just gonna like show you most of them <laughs> anyway. So this is where I ended up putting all of my big appliances. And I had planned to put a little bit more in here, but it didn't work out that way. But basically I have my air fryer, which will be so much easier for me to get out right here. And then I have our waffle maker and a coffee, make coffee, coffee maker. We do not use that currently. We have a Keurig, but just in case I do want it easily accessible because that is my husband's favorite coffee maker. My instant pot is up here. I will have to move my mixer to get to that. That's not a big deal in my opinion. So my mixer's down here and then behind that is our bread machine. That was already stored to the back of my KitchenAid so it will not be any more of a hassle to get that out anyway. Just move my mixer, grab my bread machine, no big deal. So this is all very convenient. And I'm not sure that that's not what this cabinet's made for, but it's not how I was using it. Moving over to this side, um, I ended up switching up this cabinet. I didn't really show it before, but I had serving bowls up here and then my bread maker was back here and my KitchenAid was right here. So instead, this is like a miscellaneous cabinet plus my cutting boards. So we have a pitcher that we use every once in a while if the kids wanna make lemonade or Kool-Aid, a little cake plate, and then in here is literally just like a little basket and ice cube maker. And then in here, this is just our mixer. And my son and husband use this all the time to make protein shakes. So I did want that like really easy to get to, which is why it's in the front because it's used very often. In the back here is like this, like, I don't even know what it's called. It's just like a multi-tool that you can use for like cutting and whisking and things like that. I don't use it very often, but every once in a while I do when I make crusts like for pies. So that is there with the funnels in that as well. I have my uh, flour sifter. I don't use it for flour, I use it for powdered sugar and I only use it every once in a while. So that's the back. My grater is in front of that and I do use that pretty often so I can easily grab that. And then my mandolin, again, that is something I use and it should be very easy for me to get in here and grab. This was kind of a mess before, but now I feel like everything is very easy to get to. So I'm really happy with that cabinet. This cabinet right here is where we have our pots and pans. This didn't change that much except for I did move. We have some grill accessories that were previously in this cabinet here. I just moved it to the back of here because we have these in here. So I just figured, you know, it all goes together. So that is back there. My pots and pans stay the same. And then I moved my cake baking pans over to this side. What was here before was a bunch of big lids that go to pots and pans that I don't use. They just lay there and take up space. So I'm taking them down to my basement. I'll just store them because like I said, I don't use them. You guys saw this cabinet here. It's probably the most full of all of them, but it still makes sense to me. So we have our glass drinking glasses here and then our Tervis cups here, iced coffee back there, and just like water drinking glasses here, coffee cups for, these are basically my kids and myself's coffee cups that we don't use that often, but if we have tea, hot chocolate, we can get to that. And then all of our water bottles. I explained to you why we have 12 before. Um, and that's just the best setup I feel like I can do. Those two that are in the middle here, you will be able to slide this to get to those, but I put our least used ones there so that we don't have to worry about it and our most used ones right here. And then the lid's very easily accessible there. 
Moving over here, I didn't even change this cupboard, but I'll share it with you anyway. Um, part of this stuff is in the dishwasher currently, but our bowls usually sit here, plates, um, these are actually dinner plates. They're Pottery Barn, they're enormous. We don't use them for our regular plates. We use the salad plates because those are the size of regular plates. So it's dinner plates, salad plates. These are just extra like serving plates. And then I have these that like are just fun plastic ones. Um, I find plastic plates are good when you have kids. <laughs> uh, and these are just my husband's cups. My first corner cabinet that was absolutely horrendous before is so pretty now so i shared with you we have our supplements the lazy susan that i got from target like i got a broken one i don't know how that happened but it doesn't turn evenly like it's tilted like this <laughs> so all of the ones we would access like normally are here and like look you can see it tilts down it's so weird i don't know how i got the bad one but i did it still works, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I couldn't fit the bigger jars in it. It can only fit the smaller ones. So I just put my kids' um, vitamins here, and then I have some like supplement here. And then on this cabinet, like I already shared this with you, but on this shelf is the lunchbox stuff that we use for lunches. And um, I also have toothpicks here that I use when I'm testing my cakes when I bake. So I have to have them easily accessible and I couldn't figure out anything else. I just tucked them away there, which works for me. And then our Tupperware with the lids in that. So I think that will work out really nicely. And then the grand finale, cause this was the worst cabinet in my kitchen. Ta-da! <laughs> my corner cabinet. I can't believe it's actually like usable <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it's awesome. So what I did was I moved like all the round stuff in here because it is a curved cabinet and it just, I feel like makes sense. And this stuff is going to be great for me for easily accessing mixing bowls and measuring cups and serving platters for when I'm serving dinner, right? I'm usually cooking here and cutting here or whatever. It will be very easy for me to just bring those up. We have our mixing cups right here. These are just little glass bowls that I use for mixing things as well, but you can store stuff in there. So I just have the lids underneath them. These are just metal mixing bowls and then my colanders. So those are easily accessed and my sinks right here. So that will be very easy, I think. Um, and then I have to keep these things easily accessible to the stove because like I need them when I'm cooking and it just doesn't make sense to me to have them anywhere else. So I know that this is random with my mixing bowls and stuff, but it's just very easy for me to go from the stove right here and grab my cooking spray, right? Or grab my salt and pepper. It's just very easy for me. So that's why I like it there. So I have this lazy Susan, it's just from Walmart and I have my most used things here in the front, which is olive oil and my spray and then my white vinegar. Um, apple cider vinegar is the next thing. And then balsamic, grapeseed oil, red wine vinegar, which I obviously am out of, and sesame seed oil. And then in the middle of that is canola oil, which I don't use unless I am baking cakes. And I don't use that for my own family. I just do it when I'm baking for other people. We use olive oil in our cakes because my husband has allergies. So it's not something I access very often, which is why it's in the middle. So I will have to like pull and then get to it, but that's not a big deal to me. Salt and pepper right here to the side. And then below that, this is where I ended up moving my holiday plates. And I don't know why I never did this before. It's so much easier because before I had to go to that top cabinet and it was such a pain, but it's round and it fits. So that is where I put those. I'm very happy about that. I have my square platters is the only thing square in this. And then some popcorn tins back there. These are corn in the cob holders. Still, like I can easily access any of this without having to move anything else, which is awesome. And then my round serving platters and bowls. I use these the most, which is why they are right here front and center. So that is it for this kitchen organizing video. I hope that this was somewhat helpful for you. It was definitely helpful for me because now I'm actually kind of excited to be in my kitchen again. I know that my family is going to be frustrated trying to find things for a while. 
but they'll get used to it. They always do. And this just makes so much more sense. So if you have a hard to figure out corner cabinet, I hope that this helped you to figure out kind of how to rearrange yours. Maybe it gave you some other organization ideas. If you like these kinds of videos, please leave a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a ton. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.